In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your YouTube channel for search engines. Now, a lot of people actually know how to optimize each YouTube video for search engine results, but actually I see a lot of channels that are actually quite misleading or not sure what actually that channel does. So in this video, I'm gonna walk and talk you through my YouTube channel and show you inside my customization and inside my studio just to give you some ideas of how you can optimize your channel for success. So without further ado, I'm gonna dive straight on over into my YouTube channel. So here we are on my channel and my handle is at Tim Peekman, very simple. And the first thing you see is my headline on my banner. So weekly tips and tools for building your online business. So it's quite clear who I serve and what I do, and it's a weekly content. Now, full caveat, this is a very junior channel. Um, I have only started this a number of months ago, but I've got an idea of how to set this channel up for optimization. And the the main thing, or the, the thing to take away from this video is try and understand how YouTube sees your video. So I'll say that again. Try and understand how YouTube sees your videos and even your channels. So if you can find out how YouTube views your YouTube channel, then you're, you're on a winner. You're one step ahead. You can understand what then content you should be creating again and again. So starting off with my channel, uh, I like to put a, um, a video up, a showcase one of the videos. And then this is a series of rails. So these are my, my videos. I've got some shorts. And then I've got, so different series here. I can actually show you how I do all this. Um, I've got quite a few series here. Um, that is in my sort of main page. When you go into videos, I like to make my thumbnails all slightly different, but with the same style. So people actually know that there's a new video out. And I like to try and make my thumbnail super simple. I do have another video on how I create these thumbnails. So if you want to, I can link to that as well. Um, and then here is a rail of shorts. If you haven't used YouTube Lives, again, I show you how to use YouTube Lives using um, a third party software. And then I've created some playlists so people can actually binge through playlists. And then uh, most of you have a community. So if you're not using community to actually showcase what you're doing, um, you are missing out. And, and then your about page. So really, this is what somebody sees when they actually click on your channel. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dive straight into my, my YouTube studio and actually show you how uh, to find out some more bits and pieces about your, your channel. So I'm just gonna click manage videos. So if you have a YouTube channel, you can just click manage videos um, and then dive straight in. The first thing I'm gonna try and um, find out is how YouTube sees this channel. So I'm gonna go straight into analytics and then what you wanna do is go into the advanced mode then you can pop out the advanced tab. Now, we want to find out a traffic source. So how, how is YouTube showing your channel or showing your videos, but overall your channel? And it says here that my, my channel or my videos get found through YouTube search, which is great, then suggested videos, then browse features. But what I want to do is I want to dive in a little bit deeper into YouTube search because ultimately, if you can find out what YouTube is serving your channel or your videos up for, then you can understand how YouTube sees your channel and then do more of that content. So I'm just gonna click on YouTube search. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the date range and go to last 365 days. And then as you can see, this channel is still quite young. And then I'm just gonna to click total. So as you can see, these are the the YouTube, this is a traffic source, which is YouTube, and these are the search terms t in total. So you can actually see some sort of progression here. It's not much, but it is all going in the right direction. So even if your channel is small, you can actually try and see, is there progression? Can I see progress in what I'm doing? And as I can have a look at this graph, th this is all of the total search terms that YouTube see my channel for and it's actually serving me up for them. So it is absolutely going in the right way. There's some steady growth over time. And that's all you can ask for. And now if you're looking down here, you can see some of the search terms that YouTube 
um, is serving you up for. So the biggest one being a Zoom webinar tutorial, Zoom webinar, Kajabi, ScreenFlow. These are all the tools that I use to um, run my online business. And these are all of the videos that I have created content on. And you can look all the way down here. And it would be a red flag if some of the search terms is totally irrelevant to actually what you're doing or what you're creating content about. So I would have a think about, well, why why is YouTube serving me up for these certain search terms? Actually, I want to be served in a different uh, niche or using some other search terms. So for me, these are all very, very specific to what I do and how I run my online knowledge commerce business. So then we can come out of that and then back into dashboard. And then there's another thing that I want to show you. If I go into my studio, I've actually got um, a, a plugin here that actually shows me if I go into my videos and this is a vidIQ plugin that I can just see my top keywords. So what this vidIQ is doing is it's pulling through, it's actually showing me what it thinks um, my my channel is being shown for and actually my top ranking keywords or my top rated keywords. So it's saying here Kajabi, Kajabi tutorial, Kajabi tutorials, how to use Kajabi because I do a lot of content on Kajabi. It is the platform that I know and love and have built this entire business model around. But as you keep going down last pass, um, Canva tutorial, um, what else, how to buy a domain name. So I do all of this on um, how to set up your own online business. So what you could do is you could take note of some of these and then what you could do with with these terms is optimize your channel. So what you can do in here is click on to customize channel and then when you go into here you can click on settings and then within settings you have channel keywords. So just review these um, periodically maybe on a quarter and have a look to see if you can actually put some more specific keywords in here. So there's a lot of um, Kajabi keywords or Zoom keywords. You've got up to 500, um, 500 keywords here. So you can actually put in, sorry, 500 um, characters. So you can put a lot more keywords in here, but just try and dial in the, the ones that YouTube is showing you for put into here, because then it's just gonna be a uh, uh, an increasing circle of optimization. So YouTube will show you for some more keywords, make sure some of those keywords are back into your channel keywords. And also, if you found that actually YouTube is showing you for a good bunch of content that you're actually serving um, and getting a lot of views for, make more of that. Don't try and pivot. If you do pivot, your, your channel is, uh, your audience may get confused and your channel may be pulled in different directions. If YouTube thinks that your channel is about a certain topic and you are about a certain topic, just do more of the same. And you can do that by just looking into your content, seeing what uh, content is resonating. And again, going into your analytics, going back into your analytics, looking at the advanced mode, and then having a look just to see what your top content is. So it'll show you your top five bits of content. And this is exactly what I do, host Zoom webinars. I teach people how to host Zoom webinars. Kajabi versus Thinkific. I review certain types of platforms. ScreenFlow tutorial, this is how I edit all my videos. So I am just gonna plan to do more of the same and actually dial in my channel as much as possible and actually just every now and again have a sit back and have a look at how my channel looks and if it is, if it makes sense to anyone that is actually landing on my channel from a certain video um, that it's clear that this is exactly what I do. So hopefully some of those concepts have made sense to you and you may have some aha moments and you can actually go and maybe tweak your channel or dial in or optimize your YouTube channel so it actually syncs up with how YouTube sees your channel and how you produce the majority or the remainder or the future content that you've actually got planned in your content calendar. Now, YouTube is just one tool that I choose to use to run all my businesses. I scrutinize a whole bunch of online tools that I use. If you would like to get a free checklist of all the tools that I use, head over to timpeekman.com forward slash tools and you can download a PDF copy 
It's just a simple checklist of all the tools I use. So you might get some ideas about which tools to try out next if you are running or thinking about running an online business. And again, I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.